for the rest of the tutorial we're going to actually have the boundary open rather than a closed shape so we use the option strings open and just click anywhere on the surround and it will then open it up so if you were to zoom down to the bottom right corner you'll see that it's left that little one millimeter gap okay the next step is to create the road center line so we're going to type in a new name and model just called CL we'll give it a different color say blue and we're going to traverse this time we'll do a graphical traverse so we go to the CAD line toolbar go to traverse we need to type in the start coordinate which is 965 space 4998 enter we're going to type in the bearing so 350 degrees 30 enter and the distance of 90 enter the next bearing is 273 degrees 45 for 103 meters you can then press escape to exit the option we're going to place a 20 meter curve in the center line here so to do that we use the option under CAD string called join fillet and we pick with direction the first straight and then the second straight and the radius will be minus 20 minus because it's going to the left to create the road boundaries now we're going to parallel this string so we return back to our boundary model to do this we pick on the same as button pick out on the boundary string and accept again we go to the CAD string toolbar and this time we select parallel we drag up the road and accept the offset to the left will be minus 7.5 enter and the height difference is zero that's okay then we drag up the road again and this time we change the minus 7.5 to 7.5 and press enter enter down at the start of the road in readiness for creating the truncations we're going to firstly split the strings at the intersections to do this we use CAD string cross split and we pick and accept on the strings and it will split them at the intersections pick and accept on the right side and again it does the same thing to tidy this up now we use the CAD delete string icon and pick and accept on the boundaries that were basically need to be cleaned up in the intersection for the truncation option to work these points have to be on the same string the easiest way to put them onto the same string is to use the CAD string join fillet again and we're just going to drag along the strings and put a zero radius we'll do the same on the other side it doesn't matter which direction you go from again a zero radius and you'll see now that they're actually just a corner point as opposed to two separate strings to create the truncations now we use the option strings strings edit corner splays we're going to create three chords and the convert mode will be tangent length and the tangent length will be eight we're also going to remove the original string so we click pick and we just pick on the corner point and accept and on the other side we do the same thing pick and accept we can then finish on that option as the road comes around the curve we're going to create chords around the arc to do this we use the option strings strings edit arc to chord we're going to pick the inside curve first so we click pick pick and accept and the, co the convert mode is going to be inside and it's going to be two chords so we type in two and click process then we pick the outside and this time the convert mode is going to be outside so at no stage will the actual boundaries be closer to the center line we then change the number of chords to three and click process with the vertices and the vertex indices turned, toggled on you'll notice that there's actually a couple of redundant points now point 11 and 6 so we're just going to go to our CAD delete toolbar go to vertex and pick and accept each of those 
as they're not required. We'll now look at creating the cul-de-sac head. Firstly we're going to just create a circle for a construction line. Again make sure we're in the boundary model and we're going to go to the CAD circle toolbar and select center and radius. We pick and accept at the end of the road and we're going to type in a radius of 12.5. The next step is we're going to position a trapezoid over the circle. So the circle is just used as a guide. Firstly, to be able to position the trapezoid, we're going to create a point up on the top side here. We're going to use the option CAD point offset. If we pick the string up the top, and just pick with direction dragging, dragging along the string a bit and accept. We're going to pick the start point. The distance along the point will be zero because we want to come square off that point and the offset will be minus five, enter. So this point here is purely just to position our trapezoid. So to create the trapezoid we use the option CAD polygon polygon circumscribed. For the center of the trapezoid we pick the end of the center line string. The number of sides will be eight, enter and we pick the point that we created previously up at the top. We no longer need this point or the arc so we can use the CAD string delete to pick both the point and the arc. We also can remove this segment here so to do this we use CAD delete segment. To tidy up these lines here we're going to use the CAD join fillet that we used previously and we can just pick with direction, put a radius of zero, pick with direction, put a radius of zero, and that's basically joined up the corners, and it's just all one continuous string now. The road frontage is now complete. 